intermolecular forces versus thermal energy. What is thermal energy? Thermal energy. Thermal energy arises due to the motion of atoms or molecules in a body. Okay. Arises due to the motion of atoms or molecules in a body. Okay. So, thermal energy is directly proportional to the temperature. Okay. So, thermal energy is directly proportional to directly proportional to the temperature. So, as the temperature increases, the kinetic energy of the molecules increases. So, they move faster and as a result, the thermal energy also increases. So, as uh, temperature increases, Kinetic energy increases. Kinetic energy of the molecules. Increases. Okay. So, molecules move faster. As a result, thermal energy increases. Thermal energy increases. Okay. Now, what about in the case of intermolecular forces? Intermolecular forces are forces of attraction between the molecules. Okay, so intermolecular forces are responsible for keeping the molecules together. Okay, intermolecular forces are responsible for keeping the molecules together. Keeping the molecules together okay whereas thermal energy the keep the molecules apart okay thermal energy keep the molecules apart okay so the net effect of this Thermal energy and intermolecular forces decides the states of matter. Okay. Now, we know there are three states of matter. Solid, liquid and gas. Gas, then liquid and solid. Okay. So, the net effect of these two intermolecular forces and thermal energy besides these states of matter okay so in the case of gas the intermolecular forces are very less compared to liquid then compared to solid liquid is having less intermolecular forces so from these three states solid in the case of solid the intermolecular forces are very high okay so strength of intermolecular forces increases in this order that is from gas to solid solid is having high intermolecular forces attraction now what about thermal energy the order will be in the reverse okay order will be reverse okay so this is the increasing order of Thermal energy. Solid is having least thermal energy compared to liquid and gas, gas, gaseous molecules are having more thermal energy compared to liquid. So this will be the increasing order of thermal energy and net result of these two will be the uh, states of matter. Okay. 
now next pressure and temperature are the two deciding factors for the interconversion of the state of matter okay pressure and temperature are the two deciding factors two deciding factors for the interconversion of the states of matter okay so what happens as the pressure increases the molecules come closer so the intermolecular force of attraction increases okay whereas as the temperature increases they move far apart and their inter their thermal energy increases so temperature increases thermal energy increases whereas pressure increases intermolecular force of attraction increases so these two are the deciding factors for the interconversion of the state of matter okay now let us take an example so during the conversion gas to liquid and liquid to solid in the conversion of these three states okay for changing a gas to liquid we have to increase the pressure okay increase the pressure by increasing the pressure what happens intermolecular forces increases intermolecular forces increases but the interconversion will not takes place unless the thermal there is a change in the thermal energy so what we have to do the thermal energy is thermal energy is decreased by reducing the temperature so we can say intermolecular forces and this thermal energy are two opposite effects okay so uh, both must uh, both intermolecular force of attraction and thermal energy these two factors plays an important role in the interconversion of states of different matter okay similarly in the case of liquid to solid also we have to increase the pressure at the same time we have to reduce the temperature then only the interconversion takes place let us take in the case of water as an example water exists in three states ice then water liquid state then gaseous state it is steam okay so by increasing the uh, we are here from ice to water we are increasing the temperature that is by heating heating it gets converted into uh, water at the same time in the intermolecular force of attraction decreases okay now from water to steam again we are heating and in the reverse case cooling okay so water is uh, at normal temperature water is in the liquid state this is the liquid state then uh, increasing the temperature that is uh, by heating at 100 degree celsius it gets converted into steam and by cooling water at 0 degree celsius it gets converted into ice this is an example for three states of matter okay so both intermolecular forces and thermal energy are the two opposite effects these two plays an important role in the interconversion of three states of matter okay why liquids and solids are hard to compress okay so we know molecules uh, in the case of molecules they exert both attractive forces and repulsive forces both attractive forces and repulsive forces attractive forces make these molecules come closer okay at the same time there is repulsive forces between repulsive forces repulsive repulsive forces between the two nuclei 
of these neighboring molecules and also between electron clouds okay so there will be repulsive forces due to these repulsive forces when they again come closer what happens they resist the further uh, coming together further compression so this is the reason why liquids and solids are hard to compress okay so as distance between molecules decreases what happens between molecules decreases repulsive forces increases okay so they resist the further they resist further compression okay due to this reason liquids and solids are hard to compress okay because their molecules are already very close to each other okay so if they come again closer the repulsive forces come in uh, 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 come in between these two and they resist the further compression so liquids and solids are very hard to compress